I know we all want the thinnest, softest, and stretchiest when it comes to our printed heat transfer vinyls, but sometimes some full color designs do deserve to stand out and rise amongst the other heat transfer vinyls. We have the solution for that. Introducing Caesar's latest digital media called DigiBrick. Hey everyone, I'm Joe with Caesar North America. Welcome to another episode of the Decoration Zone. In this episode, I'm gonna take you through the entire application process for Caesar's digital media called DigiBrick. But before we get started, if you could all do me a huge favor and he press that like and subscribe button, it'd greatly be appreciated. Now, let's begin. Caesar DigiBrick is only recommended for EcoSolvent or solvent large format printers. One thing you certainly want to make sure you take the time to set up is your cut setting. DigiBrick is very thick, it's 750 microns. So it's important to make sure the blade on your cutter is in good condition. You want to advance your blade out of the holder a little further than normal, and then adjust your downforce. This may take a couple test cuts to find the perfect combination. Once you have it set properly, you're good to go. Also, if you have the ability to raise your print head on your machine slightly, it may be a good idea to do that when you're working with DigiBrick. Okay, so we have our DigiBrick transfers printed and cut. The next step is gonna be weeding out the excess material and the cavities. All right, so we have our transfers weeded. I know typically I'd go into masking, but I'm gonna be doing two applications for the DigiBrick. The first application I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually decorate a stadium seat that we got from our friends at Sanmar. Thank you, Sanmar, this is very awesome. So I'm actually gonna decorate the back of the stadium seat using Caesar DigiBrick. Now I just wanna show you a little hack when it comes to using one solid piece of DigiBrick. You really don't need to use mask. All you need to do is peel it off, lay it onto the transfer and heat apply it. So that's what we're gonna do since this is one solid piece, it's going on the back of the stadium seat. The first thing I wanna do is make sure I have my heat press set correctly. So right now my heat press is set to 311 degrees for DigiBrick. You wanna make sure you're at a medium to firm pressure and you're gonna be pressing for 20 seconds. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do for the stadium seat, as you can tell, there's a lot going on, a lot of uh, buckles, a lot of zippers, things that could cause uneven pressure. So I'm gonna be pressing right on the back here. So the way I'm gonna position this on the heat press is so that I have the least amount of things obstructing my pressure. So I'm gonna make sure all my buckles are off, I'm gonna make sure that I have the zipper off as much as I can, because you don't wanna melt that. Um, and then you're gonna adjust your, your pressure. Obviously, the thicker the, the substrate is, the more you're gonna need to dial back the pressure from your knob and then test it. <laughs> Took a few tries, but we got there. Okay, I'm also gonna be using a heat press pillow, which is gonna go right into the pocket of the stadium seat because I'm gonna be pressing right at the back of it. So the heat press pillow is also going to allow a flat, even surface for where I wanna press. Again, one solid piece for this design on the DigiBrick. I'm gonna peel it off its backing. So I'm not gonna worry about mask. Other DigiBricks are super thin that you could cause stretching of the transfer. So I wouldn't advise doing this with our other products, but because DigiBrick is so rigid and thick, I can do this without a problem. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is position our DigiBrick transfer where we want to. Again, I have the zipper off of the heat. I have my heat press in there. My pressure is good. You wanna make sure you're using a cover sheet over the DigiBrick transfer. If you don't have a mask on it, it is important. Now we're gonna press for a full 20 seconds for DigiBrick at 311 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you have it. Simple, quick project for an out of the box idea using DigiBrick. Now I'm gonna show you something using some apparel. So I'm gonna decorate this awesome sport tech 
crop top hoodie that we got from our friends at Sandmar. Now, for this transfer, I have to use mask because the front and back design I'm using does have multiple pieces, so I have to use the mask. So in this case, you can use either TTD Easy Mask or TTD High Tech Mask. I'm using TTD Easy Mask for this application. Peel the paper backing off, take your DigiBrick transfer, and just roll it across the adhesive. Take a Caesar squeegee, apply some pressure, and create a bond. And then peel the backing of the DigiBrick off. Save your paper backing to the mask if you're not using your transfer right away and place it back down onto the DigiBrick. Now we can save it for later, but we're gonna go right into the application. So my heat press settings are exactly the same, 311 degrees, 20 seconds. I'm gonna have to adjust the pressure for my hoodie I'm using. I'm gonna do a front and back design. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my hoodie and find my pressure first. Make sure your hood is off the platen, your strings to the hoodie are off so you're getting even pressure where you're applying. So that's very light. I'm gonna increase my pressure. You wanna be at a medium to firm pressure for DigiBrick. That's about right. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna do is the front of the hoodie. Now I'm gonna lay my DigiBrick down onto my garment. I'm gonna use a cover sheet and I'm gonna press for the full 20 seconds. Okay, since we are using the mask, we have to wait before we peel the mask. DigiBrick is a cold peel, so you wanna make sure you take it off of the heat press, set it down onto something cool to speed up the process, or if you're doing many jobs, you can keep going to the next one, but I'm gonna let this cool off for a second. Once that's good, you can peel the carrier off, and we're good to go. Now we're gonna do the back side of the hoodie. Now, this is something you need to be aware of when you're doing a front and back with the DigiBrick. If I laid this down on my heat press, it's a very thin hoodie. If I went to go press it, you can feel the front side of the DigiBrick. Uh, this will cause uneven pressure. So in this case, to do the back side of the hoodie, I'm gonna use a heat press pillow and thread it in between my garment. This way I don't worry about the front logo uh, causing any uneven pressure. Since I have the pillow, I have to dial my pressure back a little more than I set. Good to go. All right. Finding the placement on the back of a hoodie can be tricky. I usually like to place it with the hood kind of down to kind of gauge where the hood's gonna fall. I don't like to block a sweet logo like this. So it's a totally, totally a preference thing. I'm gonna bring this logo a little bit further into the center of the back. Make sure the hood, hood is actually off when you press it. Now I'm good to go. I'm gonna use a cover sheet and I'm gonna press this again for 20 seconds. All right, again, just like the front, you wanna wait until it cools off before you peel the carrier sheet. So take it off the hoodie, or I'm sorry, take it off the platen. Make sure you take the heat press pillow out too, because this can hold on to heat. And then you can just bump it up against a cool surface. And then peel the carrier off. Vibrant colors, amazing dimensional effect. It doesn't matter if you're going to a concert, to a sporting event, if you want to decorate that hat, that bag, those shoes, whatever it is, DigiBrick is going to allow you to really stand apart from everyone else. So if you want to find out more about Caesar DigiBrick Digital Medias or any of our other digital medias, you can look at our website at CaesarNA.com. If you're looking to get your hands on some DigiBrick today, contact your authorized Caesar distributor. If you don't have one of those, please contact us at info at CaesarNA.com. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that like, subscribe, the bell, all the fun stuff, so you get the latest and greatest happening here at Caesar North America. I'm Joe, this has been another episode of the Decoration Zone. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.